a lot must be happening in the country, but today is the 14th day of August 2018. Welcome to New Vision TV News around Uganda. And in this program, we look at stories making headlines across the country. I am your host, Ruth Inasajan. Let us start today's bulletin from Arua District. At least four people were shot in Arua municipality yesterday when violence erupted as the grueling by-election campaigns came to a close. The drive of Chad on the East MP Robert Chagulani, commonly known as Bobby Wine, was reportedly among the people shot and was feared dead. Peter Debele, the Arua District, the Arua Resident District Commissioner, confirmed that Bobby Wine's driver had been shot, but he had been rushed to the hospital. Now, the battle to replace Lane MP Ibrahim Abidiga is among FDC's Bruce Musema and independent candidate Cassiano uh, Wadri, Wadri and NRM's Nusula Tiperu. The elections are tomorrow. No news from Mukono District. Mukono District Chairperson Andrew Senyunga has asked the government to increase the salary of the village chairpersons from 10,000 shillings. Senyunga said the village chairpersons are vital and did a commendable job, which was worth more than 10,000 shillings that the government has been paying them. He added that, the vil that village chairpersons had also worked towards the reduction of domestic violence cases in their respective villages because they council couples in dispute. As we continue looking at more stories making headlines across the country, let us take a break and look at what is making headlines in today's copy of the New Vision. And now our headlining story today says Bobby Wine's driver short. His was called a driver Kauma. We have a picture here and all this gruesome, uh, uh, okay, whatever happened, violence, uh, happened in Aurora municipality last night. We have the story on page, on page three in detail here and also what led to all this. Um, just grab your copy of the New Vision and find this story in detail. Now more in the New Vision, we see crisis as Mulago Cancer Institute suspends medics over thieving. We also have this story on page eight. Our investigative journalist had a story on Sunday which showed how medics are getting money from patients to use the radiotherapy machine. Now we have the story here, a follow-up, and we see some of the medics who are shown in the video that we showed you on New Vision TV uh, who have been suspended. So get your copy of the New Vision and read mo uh, the story here in detail. Moving on, we see a front page of the President of Uganda, His Excellency Yoerika Gutam Seveni. He was in Arua yesterday campaigning for Tiperu Nusula, who's also uh, vying to become the Arua Municipality Member of Parliament uh, to replace, obviously, the slain uh, Member of Parliament, uh, retired Kano Ibrahim Abidiga. The story, uh, we see a front picture here, and the story is also on page three, if you want to know what happened and what the President told the Arua electorates. Uh, moving on, we have, we see Rachel Maida, mystery as 14 more go missing, and then Tara Crocodile's hunt in Namayingo. What a story there that you should read when you buy your copy of The New Vision. Now moving on to more stories inside The New Vision. We see, okay, medics suspended. We have that story. And then oh, ritual murders, more 14 missing. Mm -mm -mm. Then Museveni launches model farm in Arua. We see the president here in the farm. Yeah, the water bottles are also there. That is also a method of irrigation according to the president. And he's actually busy in the farm. So, your new vision, the copy of the New Vision has a pictorial and more stories for you. Okay, then, uh, best CJ, Bobby Wine campaigned for rival candidates in Arua. An interesting story there. You know, Arua is actually making headlines lately. So, the story uh, is right here. Moving on, inside the New Vision, trust me, you're going to find something that comes out every month, which is called the New Era. The New Era is... Um, something uh, it is actually a pullout about the china and uganda relationship and how china is impacting africa in so many different ways the headlining story there says for opens a new window what for means the new era has the story for you more in the new era china has opportunities for uganda there is a story right here then chinese are sporting standard gauge railway okay moving on 
to more stories, actually to more pull-outs that come out every Tuesday, that, that comes out every month. Now there are two that come out every Tuesday, we have the Oil and Gas Journal and also Her Vision. Now the Oil and Gas Journal says, let us get the story right here. The headlining story there is uh, Kira EV to provide market for oil plastics. The story is in there and then we see Makeri School of Law to offer oil and gas course. Okay, that is a story you should read from the oil and gas channel. Moving on to her vision. Her vision says rural women need to be heard. Yes, women need to be heard in whichever, in whichever way the rural or urban, they really need to be heard. But the story here says rural women need to be heard. Uh, the story is here in detail. Then uh, her vision also has uh, questions and doctors are really answering answering the questions and also counselors are answering the questions. We have trachoma fleas at the site of Nangoli. Hmm, what an interesting story there. Okay, so get that uh, and you read that story. Moving on to the sports docket, we see at peace happens to be the headline of the sports page uh, today and then Pirelli will fly you to Dubai. Mm -hmm. Okay, then Budo Stars, the story is right here, and yes, more stories in the sports docket. So buy a copy of the new vision at only 2,000 shillings, and remember, we are proudly the leading daily. You're still watching New Vision TV. I am Roy Finasija, and let us continue looking at more stories making headlines across the country from Chigezi, uh, sorry, from Mukavale district, still Chigezi region. Now, the Diocese of Chigezi in Sand ordained 14 priests, 7 deacons, and 9 priests retired. The event held at St. Peter's Cathedral, Rugarama in Kavale municipality, was presided over by the decision Bishop of Chigezi, Right Reverend Inge. Uh, engineer Geoffrey Bagamhund. Some of the priests ordained a Reverend Gordon Akankwasa, Reverend Frank Tumwesije, Reverend Frank Agambiri, Reverend Godfrey Sandy, Reverend Peter Karambuzi, Reverend Norman Mutekat. Uh, Muteka Teka, among others, while those ordained as Dinkons include Justice, uh, Justice Aibare, uh, Robert Kabagambe, Justice Banyere, among others. Now, Bagam Hunda asked the ordained priests to learn how to commit their bodies to God and abstain from the many world temptations that can obstruct their service to humanity. Finally, from Oyam District, uh, the World Vision Staff attached to Lira support office died last week in a motorcycle accident while on his way from Gulu to his work station in Lira. Sources say the 30 year old Jim Sakena Rakara crashed at Atego Swamp in Minakulu along the Gulu Kamidin Highway. He was riding a motorcycle registration number UEP 690Y when he lost control and rushed to and crashed into a drain on the, on the side of the road. The regional police spokesperson of North Echoga uh, David Ongom said preliminary investigations indicate that Akena was overspeeding but lost control, leading him to crash in a drainage, hitting his head on the tunnel, hence breaking his neck. Ongom said the accident happened at around 6.30 a.m. on Tuesday. The body has been taken to Ayeke Health Center 4 in Oyam for post-mortem. At attempts to get comments from World Vision Communications and Public Relations, manager Agnes Kabaicha were futile as her known telephone line went unanswered. That's all I had for you from Mirror Athena Sejia and the New Vision TV team. You can get us on our social media platforms. New Vision, uh, Twitter is New Vision Wire. Facebook is the New Vision. Instagram at New Vision Wire. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is the New Vision, which is New Vision TV. You can also find me on Twitter. I am at Nash Tujay. Thank you for for watching. Goodbye.